scooping it out of this one. Last right. band coming in from CLG. This might be that Thresh for Lemon Nation. He's been going for Morgana a few times as well, but I guess when Meteos' Elise is up, he's going to go ahead and take that right away. Definitely, especially when Dexter's on the other side. You do yeah. not want to give Dexter Elise. All right, so that's a very, very important first pick for Cloud9. And they didn't hesitate on it at all. I think that was generally the consensus if that last man was not Renekton. Not playing any games. Well, maybe some. Dexter waiting for the ban. Or the pick, I should say. Now oh, this day's going to get harder. Words are already just becoming other words. <laughs> Could be the Zack in the top lane. Makes it more interesting, Riv. Makes it way more interesting. We're gonna we have can a, start doing Mad Libs casting. We're going to have our own dictionary by the end of this game. And Zack. So we have seen Yen play Zack before. Um, I don't know if it's a good blind pick, though. Interesting. We're not going already off the field, though, so yeah. that bully's not there. Grab the Shivana away. That also hinders the pick in the top lane for Cloud9. See what he decides to go with. Yeah, those are definitely, by far and away, Ball's number one and two picks right yeah. now. So maybe the Rumble. That'll be pretty interesting, too. We don't get to see the rise up top, but could be a return of the Rumble for Balls. I'm very curious at what his third tier pick is. They might even save it till much later. The mid matchup, though, is also very important. Uh, since there were not very many mid bands, definitely wondering, you know, where's that LeBlanc going to go? Probably one of these teams pick up either LeBlanc or Gragas. Caitlyn already being locked into the bottom lane, too, kind of makes that a little bit difficult. You don't mm -hmm. want to take super short range into her. Boom. So there it is, the Gragas. Gragas Morg. The Thresh is still left open. We'll have him go for his Leona. We go for that Thresh. Still waiting for more picks to come in here. High going on to Gragas. He has quite a good record on that, so it would be nice for the team, especially for controlling those objectives. Like we say, both these teams know how to rotate, but they both know how to fight as well. Now, people may initially think this is counterintuitive, picking Morg and Gragas at the same time because their ults are pretty much opposite, but a support Morgana does not use her ultimate offensively. It's supposed to be used as peeling for the AD carry. It's a defensive ulti there. So he'll probably be, you know, standing towards the back line and once CLG dive in, then he activates it because he doesn't have the health or the defensive stats to flash in and then Zanyas doesn't have the cash to kind of fund that type of gameplay. Next we're bringing out the Evelyn. We'll see what he can do for his team this game as it is going to be the Iona. Actually Thresh. Thresh is sitting on the bench this game. Interesting. Taking the Leona into the Morgana once again. We'll yeah. have to see if X Special was right or the if uh, Blade delivery system. Crepo was, was right. Because after that game, uh, X Special, you know, he likes Leona in this matchup. He thinks that she's actually even better than Morgana in the heads up matchup. But uh, Crepo was chalking up just the mistakes that they made. Uh, definitely positional mistakes were made in that. You do not want to stand next to your AD carry. Uh, because then, whoever gets black shielded, the other one's just going to become the target. Yep. The buddy system only works in some situations. Pollution locked in as well as Trundle going to the top lane for balls here. So we're going to see him trying his hand at Trundle on this game. He'll be up versus a Shivana. We've seen that back and forth. It's all up to Afro pick. Link leaving himself up for the mid lane. He's going to be going up against the Gragas. He has a Ziggs he can choose. Got to remember his uh, game against XDG when he did the level 5 roam with Ziggs on calling that the team thought he was going back. Lynx likes to play in his opponent's head Yeah, he he's, plays the game. He's been a great roaming mid mm -hmm. and lane player here. Uh, and he's a really, really bright spot for CLG. That's yep. why he got several MVPs. Yeah. Uh, he's the he's definitely an uh, outstanding member of this team. Locking in Ziggs too, that does give you a lot of wave clear. Um, if you are if you do even get behind in the mid game, uh, early game, then he can stall that out for your team. <laughs> what? I can't tell what they said. I don't know. But they're happy. They're excited for this game because it is going to be a damn good one. Cloud, right. Cloud well. 9 versus Counter Logic Gaming. We will be pleased with the end result of this one. And there will be much carnage and much rotating for both teams. If they have both have the disclaimer in the early part. And I like Ziggs versus Gragas because you always, they, they kind of bring the both uh, the same thing to the, the table. A lot of clear, a lot of throwing, a lot of explosions. Yeah, the only thing is, um, 
I think CLG a little bit more uh, offensive sieging power here because they do have the Caitlyn, of course, um, and Ziggs, both of those with very high range turret damage. And uh, Cloud9 looks like they're going to be playing more off Meteos picks, Meteos ganks uh, in the early game, see what they can make happen there. I, want, I really want to see how they deal with Evelyn this time around because last time that Cloud9 faced Evelyn, they decimated EG and they kept yep. trap of Snoopy. They kept track of Snoopy the whole time. Get your words out. That's one. Well, the game's about to go live. Let's tally the votes that you guys did. LOLEsports.com says 58% of you think Cloud9 are going to rack up another win. Very, that is so close. Very close. I don't think Cloud9's been at a 58% vote yet. Yeah, that's a, that's a really close one. Uh, I think it'll be pretty interesting, too, because the, uh, the early pressure from Dexter, I feel like it's going to be a lot more than the early pressure that Snoopy had in that game uh, because Dexter has been so good at working around the wards um, and feeding uh, information to the other team that is not going to benefit them. We'll have to see, though. Uh, early pink wards, remember, and early green wards inside yeah. camps is what uh, they're going to be looking for to deal with that Evelyn. All right, we are ready. The crowd is ready. Coming all the way from France, ready to watch the teams play. Cloud9 versus CLG on to the rift. It's going to be a good one. Spelty Sage going on to Lemonation as we see the Morgana play coming out more here in the new patch. Alpha move back to his Doran's Blade and Biscuits on his Leona. Those solar flares, though, quite deadly. It's going to be big level sixes from both teams. Yeah, Lemonation also grabbing a real ward here. So, I expect that one to go down inside of camp, as we said before, keeping track of Evelyn. Lemonation found him. Yeah. Uh -oh. Is, Dane, is oh. a dangerous spot, though. Oh, oh wow. wait Lemonade. a minute. Oh, no, the chaos begins. Lemonation, a bad spot, and oh. he goes down to the ignite. What a game of cat and mouse. CLG coming out with the level one. Dexter baits in Lemonation. And he did not expect anyone to already be in that bush. Because Link got in there so early, Lemonation did not expect there to be more people there. Plus, he used his flash as well. So yep. that's a really big gain for the bottom lane of CLG, where a lot of the focus is. Looks like they're going to be able to clear out any pink wards or even regular wards they try to get down. A very early pink ward coming in from Link will help him in the mid lane. Like Cloud9 is actually going to say, well, since we got hit up, maybe they think we're not going to do this. So let's get dangerous. Let's get dangerous. Aphromo and double lip. I think they might check out that blue just to make sure it's not getting uh, countered here. But it would be dangerous. Oh, dear. They're going, going for Leona. That pink ward has been laid, so it's down on the red buff. We know that Lemon has oh. binding. Oh, high starts body slam. Boom. And again. One more. Ha. All right. That's enough. Oh, good damage back. They trade even after that. There's good three, four auto attacks in there coming in from high. Like you said, Sneaky's dark body getting slam. getting a little close here. He's going to run into them. All right, so it's just the ward down. This is actually really good for CLG. Uh, double lift can zone them. He zones both of members away from the experience. Let's see, how many did they lose? Just one melee? Yeah. A boot. Two, two melee. Yeah. They'll have that definitive level two in that bottom lane. Aphromu will not hesitate to, hesitate to use the Zenith Blade every time it is up. Do Dexter. we see Dexter going this, in the jungle this here? This trend of Evelyn uh, counter jungling has been very interesting to me because... Discuss. Um, she does have the invisibility so she can get around all the wards mm -hmm. um, because this early in the game, nobody has the money to buy that pink ward. But if she ran into Elise, if Elise saw her uh, when Elise was not fighting a camp, then it's very dangerous. Uh, if, as long as that cocoon lands, then the fight is definitely going to be in Meteos' favor. So it's a, it's a risky play, but he gets over there in time and does get a lot of knowledge out of that trip through the blue side. Double lift getting that level two with Afro Moon. You can see him somewhat freeze in the lane out. He's not using the Piltover Peacemaker to get that pushed. But this could be a down. good timing. If they hit level two, Lemonation still waiting no on it. And Meteos is coming around. For double lift. Lemonation on level two right there. It's going to be over to Meteos to get the stun down. The cocoon needs to be dodged as double lift has his blue suede shoes on. Oh, he's got a flash. Pretty good reactions there from CLG, and they only it only costs them the one flash from double lift. But now they have to keep up their wards, and it's tricky because you need to ward mid uh, the mid ramp as well as that tri bush so Meteos doesn't just come down through the river. Link's used one ward up there already, but 
I'm pretty sure it's just a trinket ward. It won't last too long. So, no super early aggression coming from these guys in the mid lane. We did see a lot of that first blood on the early roam, but both teams are figuring out that they don't want any more to go in the favor of counter logic. And that, like I said, it's cloud with that rather. first blood money, Link mm -hmm. purchased a pink ward. He's used it defensively at their red. This first back from Dexter, he gets a pink ward himself. So, Evelyn putting early money into more of the vision game here. A second pink word already from CLG. They're investing very heavily in the vision already. And he heads down bottom to try and even this up. Oh, they might go on to Sneaky. Oh no, Could Lemonade's gonna bring this one in. The Zenith played over, he gets the quick flash to the Dawn. And he breaks it off onto Lemon Nation. Dexter coming up with a kill there, but this is bad. Uh -oh, Meteos gets the Q and execute down on a ham. Double lift very low here. This could be a double kill for Meteos. Can he get the extra damage down? The he red flashed. buff is ticking. Red buff gonna take him oh, down, but Afro he gets taken down in the well. Oh my god, Afro! Still going He's on! Got this. The minion sneaky, don't shoot a minion! Oh my god, minions OP! The oh barrier! God, the barrier. Afro moved with the Zenith Blade! He it wants a piece! Bust. He wants oh it! God, and he gets the kill! Makes it out safely! Support is easy, man. <laughs> Afro Moo comes out the victor in the bottom lane. All right, so let's take a look at this. Meteos already walking down the river. Take a look at Meteos' Ooh. position right now. As soon as this does hit, he starts heading down. And yes, CLG, they get the flash initiation onto Lemonation after Double Lift took the binding as a bait. I'm pretty sure it was a bait. Uh, we'll give him the credit there. But Meteos coming in for the counter gank. Yes, he does a short flash here to finish Double Lift and takes too many turret shots. Uh-oh, up top though, more action. Let's cut CLG. away. CLG looking to get kills on every side of the map. They pick it up. Link that was just one to zero. It's five Again, to two now. Link with the roam. He is a very, very high impact mid laner. Getting up there, another kill for him. Second level five Ziggs roam coming from Link. Playing in the minds of his opponents. Let's see Video what stop bottom. Oh, no, it's coming hit. in. They're trying that to put one. a traffic jam in the rush hour, and they are going to give Double Lift a that flat one tire. That was definitely not a bait. <laughs> Double Lift tried to dodge it, and he got caught by Lemonation. The binding has a very, very high, uh, large width on the skill shot. Yeah. Easy catch you off guard. To hit there, and it rewards him with another kill. Like the focus down bottom from Cloud9. This is kind of classic when you're versing CLG. Keep Double Lift down in CS. Mm -hmm. And they're doing a pretty good job. Man, Afro Moo though, getting those double kills. <laughs> that was that was a very strong start for him. And he's able to get a coin on top of his Dorans and the early side stone. So he's, he's going very, very, well. very early. But that vision from the side stone doesn't matter because Double Lift was dead. So C9 have full control. Take the early dragon. Another objective for them. They're coming back in the gold, but CLG still have the lead. I think they head down, might be able to get a kill here. Eight Looking kills in seven minutes, man. This is yeah. action-packed. Pretty crazy. It's that seven-minute mark, so they're checking for blue what? on both sides. Could be coming up here. Oh, it's going to be Meteos coming in. The Satchel, he flashes onto the Satchel, but it's the auto Whoa. attack from Meteos. Super well played by Link, but Cloud9 persevering yeah. and pursuing to the kill. Nian getting in, level six to level five in that top lane. Those guys finally get a piece. <laughs> And see what they're all it was about a good this play. game. So flashing yeah. to get the jump from his yeah. uh, satchel charge was great, but Meteos is on top of it. Let's take another look here. The knockback, satchel charge is down, and he throws out the cocoon as soon as Link gets to the other side of him. Because it was a straight forward flash, it ends up hitting yeah. anyway. Woo! A lot of intense plays coming out. Everybody is working for the kills they have right now. Nobody's just falling into this gold. Five to four, almost eight minutes into this game, and we have nine kills. Alpha Ramu eating a binding there, but they're fine with it. Almost level six in this bottom lane, and that is going to be quite dangerous for Cloud9. Yeah, Lemon didn't get his Tormented Soil down after the binding mm -hmm. hit for those extra charges, but uh, he did up his percentage down in the bottom lane, and Double has returned to lane right back up at CS. It'll be easy for him. Wasn't Two. doing too much forceful pushing in the early game. He's been keeping his CS up. Two pink wards as well here uh, for Cloud9 in the bottom lane. So even if Dexter comes down, it's going to take a while for him to have an effective gank in the bottom lane. He'd have to clear out both of those pink wards. Takes a very long time. I think that's a ping from CLG as well in the tribush. They, mm -hmm. they may be aware that there is a pink ward placed there. So Fiendish Codex, actually, first for Link here. He decides to go for that over the Chalice that High has chosen. So they go different builds towards their Athene's Unholy Grail.
shouldn't affect him too much. That Link Roam, though, is definitely putting CLG on top. It's only a 300 gold lead, despite everything that's been happening. Cloud9 able to answer on the majority of kills that CLG is putting on. Dexter coming through the lane, bypasses both pink wards. Medios, meanwhile, looking mid. There's a ping in. Yep. Now Link they both just got know. that. Everybody knows where the junglers are. <laughs> Dexter does not even try and kill that pink ward, though. Because he knows five hits is way too long to sit there. And if Elise finds Evelyn straight out in the open, then it will be in Elise's favor. Gonna be walking over a ward back to mid. They may try to go for Link once again, knowing his flash is down. I don't think so. Walking over a pink ward, Medios is spotted out. So with the vision on the map right now, you can see it's slowing things down a little bit. They're going to have to wait to see if they can get strategic positioning on these pink wards and get him cleared out. I mean, Link's for his pink ward that he put down behind the red is still hanging out. Yeah, these jungle games are very interesting here. Everybody keeps circling back to the bottom lane, the bottom lane, the bottom lane. A lot of focus down here. Mm. Whereas top, there are no wards for either of those guys. Oh. Slinking into Ooh, more lemon, love. Don't walk back. More love for the bottom lane, indeed. Yeah, walk the eyeballs right onto him. I'm sure he'd be happy about that. Medio stays safe for this. It looks like the dark binding is going to miss. So maybe CLG will push up a little bit here, feel a little bit safer. But Medios is already out of the call. He's going to be going back into the jungle. Nothing coming out of that. As Nien starts to put a little bit more pressure in this top lane, give balls a hard time. But really, neither of them are any any stage to kill each other. Now, because he's up against Trundle, going for the early Blade of the Ruin King, so he's got lifesteal, and that makes his uh, counter jungling more effective. He can actually do the right, but the collapse here from high, this could be a cloud nine. Kill up the end. Oh my uh -huh. goodness. Dragon's descent. Uh -oh. I'm still following, though. He's, he's got. He's going to walk this one in. There it got is. It. So that was actually a good call by Nian, not wasting his flash. Yeah. Uh, high could have followed him pretty easily to capitalize anyway. Quick body slam, still would have picked himself up the kill. The rotation goes down. Dragon. It's a minute and a half for Dragon here, but they're saying this pink is wards. the time we need to start getting these pink wards out of here. They just pinged the tri brush as well. That's why I said, it's been slowing down the game a bit. CLG wants to speed it back up. Too late. <laughs> Gotta love the sound effects. 17,000, Z9 has grabbed a bit of the lead, but it's only in a few hundred gold right now. It's, it's tipping the scales back and forth between who's farming harder or who back to buy in the lanes. 12 minutes on the board, one more minute coming up for Dragon. Sneaky uses the culling here. Look at that around the time, it's going to be coming back up, but he tries to get a push on the lane. Maybe he'll back for the damage they need. Upcoming Dragon fight. So since Aphromoo started out with uh combat stats there with the Dorans and got his gold per five or his gold generating item later. He's only got 100 gold from his coin, mm. whereas Lemon's got over 400 gold from his gold generation. He got it very early. A lot of swinging. Not much happening here. Wet Noodle fight between Nian and Balls is going to continue to go on. Nian did find the level advantage, so when these guys group, there Double may be lift. something for him there. Whoa. Uh-oh. Oh, he leaves the barrel. How's it feel to get zoned? Double lift trying to get out of this situation, and he finds himself the other side of the wall. Uh -oh. oh, wow. Medios going for the long range run on that. Gets that good was repel just to kill. in time for Dragon, yeah. too. This is terrible been part more for perfect. CLG and great for Cloud9. Meteos very happy about this one. High, though, going two versus one. Uh-oh, Retribution coming in here for double lift. He's saying, everybody. get him. Uh-oh, black shield. Very nice black shield. Lemon's low, too. There's got to be careful. Meteos still on the Dragon. Will they be able to? Oh, wow. No, oh, Solar Flare comes out. That's going to be Lynx. They have good, great minefield. Sneaky's got to walk through it to get into the fight. Dexter very low on the Medios. Link Medios is back. going down. Oh. Link very low. Again, a kills back and forth for both teams. Aphromoo doing can it, he do it again. Why is Aphromoo always the last man standing? Oh. Oh, the body slam takes him down. The three for two. The end flies over the wall out of nowhere to make it another kill for the team on the high. All right, so balls. Because of that giant fight down bottom, he needs to turn it on into hyperdrive up top. Start crushing down the wave. Sneaky got too close to the dragon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Too close. That's the barrier. That's a few more shots he's taking here. Uh -oh. Dives over the wall. Sneaky Bring has no mana right now. He's okay oh. now, though. There's just kind of an over-the-shoulder shot. No more boot. chase from the end. 
This is an action-packed game, that's for sure. All right, let's take another look at the action. Hi, got a little bit too close. Vidos really wanted that dragon, and it was so so low he wanted to finish it off here. So Lemon does bite the dust, but he lands a binding on Afro. And uh, let's take a look at the two versus one at Medios. He gets into the air, but the hate spike already goes. He has a uh, uh -oh. burn from Blizzard on. Oh, good juke. Here we see double lift. He was Only farming nicely in his environment, but he will be taken down. He says, peace, please. Peace. Truce. 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 Does not work. Make the treaty the happen. Though. Oh, my God. Now he's under attack. Oh, oh my word. The flash chop coming out for balls. Eats Nian alive there, and it looks like CLG is going to go ahead and start soaking up the resources in their jungle. Is action still happening across the map? Nobody really has time to react. They're all coming up on the end of fights. Cloud Nine, what's been finishing? Look at this though. They have control of all three lanes. Yeah. They're shoving every single lane. They're taking a really big lead now. Get we the middle turret down. That's huge for this uh, jungle game. Trying to keep track of that Evelyn just got a whole lot easier. This is ridiculous. About three minutes to go, the kill score was 5-5. Five to five. Now it's 11-8 to eight with a 4,000 gold lead in favor of Cloud9. Making this come out of nowhere. The pink wards start to go down. They're going to be able to start shutting down Dextra a little bit more now. Double lift. See what he can do. Very graceful in his Zero farming and phase. Zero right now. Yeah. Having a rough go at it. Sneaky. Can definitely take double lift fairly easily at this point. So they're going to have to hug behind the turret. Let's see if High gets another good ulti. Oh, they have no vision coming in onto this. Oh, he... That was pretty nice. That was pretty good. It was a good net, though, as well by double lift. They zone him off the turret. They're going to be able to get an objective at least from this one. And four members of CLG down bottom, not gaining anything. Yeah, Cloud9 definitely putting a stranglehold on the map. There's not much. Counter-Logic Gaming can do right now. Cloud9 already onto their three sweepers, waiting for Lemon Nation to fully upgrade that one, which will allow him to see Dexter. And then they keep using Meteos and High to clear out wards, and they'll always save Lemons for the fight. All turrets still up for Cloud9. Makes that mid-game rotations a lot easier. Balls, though, his turret goes down, and he's going to be stuck in the two versus one now. Can he escape? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here he goes. Jumps away from Dexter. Actually has to reconsider this fight. High's coming up in the backside. He back doesn't side. have to escape. Uh -oh. He's the one who throws the domain. Goes down. They can try to two v one him fast, but High's going to put himself in the fight. The big man's able to zone out two at the same time. Here comes Link. A nice mega inferno bomb gets good damage across the board. High's going to go down. Oh my God! Video Cloud Nine. New challenges approach. Afro Moon's going to be hit up. A great soul shackle coming in from Lemon Nation as Link goes down to Meteos in the fight now. Six two and two on to Afro Moon. He's not going to be doing the two v one bout this time. Oh, the biting oh, misses. But the biting does miss. <laughs> it's only going to be so long. He gets himself to the other side for a little bit more of the fight. Hey, they're matching each other with the rotation. That was what was important to both these guys. Uh, double lift shoving down mid, sneaky shoving the bottom lane. They're pretty wow. much trading blow for blow. Everything in this game has been accounted for. Uh-oh, double Cloud lift again, oh, though. No. Oh, no. Can't get him with the He's repel. He's good. 90 okay. caliber net to safety. All right. Uh, which fight is this again? All right. Yen gets extremely low, has the dragons. Descent away and balls tries to take on both. Look at everyone moving up the river right now. That's five new characters coming to play in the top lane. High arrives first. They try and take out Nian, and he does a good job, you know, bush juking here. He survives long enough for the rest of the team to get uh, in position. And at this point, it looks like Medios does not want to continue. He starts running back to base, but as soon as Lemon gets that double shoal shackle off, he turns around on Link goes to get that damage off the field, and since Dexter is out of mana, Afro moves on his own here. Even though that binding misses, makes it an easy cocoon for Meteos to land, since Afro goes for the Zenith in. All right, we see Nian now in the bottom lane. It's going to be a good spot for him. We got Dragon coming up in one minute. Uh oh, Dragon, speaking of that, uh, Nian is caught between two. Yeah. High does not see him, though, so... He's going to be fine. And it's Sneaky, actually. Who oh. has to worry? Oh. Oh. Sneaky. Wait a minute. Oh, he walked through the brush before even realizing that that was going to happen. Oops. Uh. All right. The sun was in his eyes. We'll give that one to him. Sneaky trying to come back now. The uh -oh. calling is going to be big. High does have his flash up if they want to finish it. Oh, man. They just drowned him in the hops. And Yen gets dumped by High coming back down to save Sneaky. Whew. Interesting little bush maneuver there from Yen. All by his lonesome. Solo man mission. Does not pay off. 
And Cloud9, again, talking about uh, the map movements. Yeah. High came back, able to save Sneaky. That's so what happens. CLG, I don't have any map control, no turrets uh, available. Nobody to help me in. Well, map control can be gained here if they can get the entire party to go. They are calling for it, Kobe. It's going to be big. Nope. Meteor oh, picking Dexter that goes, away. Wait a minute. There's an ex Agony's Embrace comes in very strong. Cloud9 is so low. Where is the return damage? That follow-up coming from Counter Logic Gaming isn't there yet. The flash in. Shot for double lift. He can't get over the walls. Too far. Whoa. Oh, my word. Delayed. That scared high. Uh, delayed. Yeah. Woo. All right, so they get a kill out of all the AOE damage, but Dragon had already gone down to Cloud9, so they got the objective. Plus up oh top, my. Balls oh, is what taken a pillar! Out yet. Oh my gosh, creating a Nien and Wall sandwich there with the pillar. Balls level 12 to Nien's 12, and he was down a level before, so he's been doing good stuff for himself. 148 still to 161, but coming out on top of the fights. Man, that was the second time that Cloud9 got a pick right before Dragon. First time it was Double Lip getting yeah. caught out. Second time it was Nien getting caught out. Both times, Hive was the one uh, making that play in the end. So good job by him. Meteos now making another move down bottom. Oh, maybe. Double wards, they do see him and back off. Not oh. all the position. He just wanted more of a positioning on this. Going still around. It's the blue a is defensive up. ward, though. He's got to be very Going careful. Double lift. Whoa! Flashes it in. That's the rest of the mana that double lift had. If everything goes on to him, he is dead to rights in this what fight. A good and there it is. Meteos getting a great dodge on all the abilities focused onto him. He will finally go down, but High is always there with the rest of the team. Janitorial duty coming in for Cloud9 to clean up. It's starting to run away here. Cloud9 definitely doing a great job increasing that lead through pressure on bottom. They catch double lift and acro. It's, it's starting to get a little scary. Cloud, CLG has not been able to answer back with the usual kills after Cloud9's been getting them. They thought that they would be able to keep up in the rotations, but Cloud9 still showing that they are the best in the business. That's what the team considered. A lot of CLG will still say that Cloud9, one of the top teams in the league, that deserve to be right, up so in that Medios position for a reason. So gets the off before 90 caliber net actually moves double lift, and that repel over. He's actually, if Hai didn't get it, then he would have been able to finish it. And Sneaky comes in for the culling. Finishes Afro Moo and it's a 3 4 1. All right. Up to CLG to try and pull this one back. They need to regain vision on their own side of the map. Baron now going to be uh, very dangerous territory. A lot of pink wards going down in that area. Cloud9 came into this game definitely with a checklist. It said kill Double Lift a lot and make check. sure Link. Yeah, check. Make sure Link doesn't get the rest of the team going. Very well done there. Dexter still doing what he can and always has. I don't say always, but the majority of the time will have a positive score in the jungle. Is trying to put the team on his back. Yeah. And speaking of Link, he still got off his great roams. Uh, he from did. Mid lane. Yep. He Level was five roams. He was one that was making great moves. Uh, so he was still very mobile on the map. Sneaky though, again. Getting caught out. Oh dear. The fadeaway calling going for Dexter. Got back the up. pillar, the chomp, the nom noms going in. But wait a minute. He didn't finish dinner. Okay, he did. High comes in and says, I'll clean the plate up. There's double lift. He could be going down one last attack. No turn around to shoot. He tries to go for the brush. And he gets out safely, but he dies in the end. So go still down. Up. The pigs right are going down. For nothing. A double kill for Paul. Everybody balls. calling for objectives though. So High was pinging there on the end span pinging, but everybody else moves up towards uh, Baron. <laughs> they know what they can do. They have the power. Sneaky's actually quite big already in this game. We're going to replay of that too. Sneaky having his team in the right place at the right time. All right, so in the picture in picture, you can see they are getting the Baron. Here comes the Donkey Dog from High. Kills <laughs> Dexter, gets the double buffs, and they finish off CLG. Now, High gets this kill down uh, on double lift. I guess he was worried about Nien uh, chasing him. But yeah, they do end up getting that Baron in the end. That's going to be the icing on top. Yeah, that's for Cloud9. Gets that much more tough. Extra gold in the pocket of Cloud9 with those stats. Minute and 40 on Dragon. We're looking at some level 15s. When it's an average level 15 in the what? game, that's when the Dragon's worth the most. But not yet. This is the second bush, uh, solo bush move Nien has set up. Uh, he's now calling in uh, backup, Dexter, <laughs> coming to the area, but 
He's got to be careful with these. Gets orders missions. from the team to retreat to the second brush. This one, he'll have a better chance. Oh, no, he gives it away. Says, ah, boo. It's not going to be in. Sneaky not taking the fight. He actually doesn't know what's around him. Sneaky has no coverage of that bottom jungle, except for just next to him. It's not helping too much. Dexter is in the brush, but unknowing to Sneaky. You can tell at CLG I've uh, sort of switched plans here. They're now looking for the oh. more risky plays. Patience. Um, they're going for the bush attacks. They're going for the dangerous, dangerous uh, picks that they're trying to hey, find. You got to do something that'll catch your opponent completely off guard. Right. right now, Cloud9 is in that position where they can still make a few mistakes to be all right with the, the direction they're going. So CLG, they actually have pretty good turtling um, with the with the Ziggs and with the Caitlyn. And as long as, you know, Baron's not on the map, that's a pretty good option. But Nian keeps going so deep. And I don't know if they're going to give up the chase, though. They might never see him. He should have wow. kept with that recall. It would have gone off by now. Ah, nobody knows, though. Lemonation going quite aggressive as well. He picks up the blue elixir for himself. Already has an Aegis. The Mikhail's Crucible finished. One of his favorite items in the game. He will build it almost every game. But they are big compared to the items on CLG just across the board. See what this Cloud9 can do about this dragon. It's now alive. And now it's dead. All right. They've also got all five pink wards. Two already been placed. Three in the inventories here for Cloud9. So every, every spare bit of change being put into vision for them. They want to cement their lead all right. by claiming the blue side jungle as their own. Counter logic, though, they're making a, a little little gambit here. Trying to get a shove on the top side to get a turret while Cloud9 are moving up. They're trying to get a little bit of gold back for this, but it will cost them an inhibitor turret if Zig's clear is not enough. Yeah, this could be played very well. We've got Zig's clear, though. It is pretty dang strong right now. Oh. Well, you got Kragas on their side now. You got one, one turret. Yeah, it looks like the Zig's clear is going to be enough for now. Has to use his ulti, though. I think that they're going to need people to recall. Ooh, they realize there's a, more than one person in the bottom lane, and this is what you can do. Ball's up front. We see Trundle doing this. Can't really be pushed out of the fight. He's just going to go ahead and subjugate your biggest target, stealing those stats Five to get people the inhibitor back turn. CLG. There goes the Talisman of Ascension. Will it be Aphromoo's initiation? He gets the range. They turn to Sneaky. Great utilization of the delivery system there on the Lemon's Black Shield with the Zenith Blade, but they are not able to get any kills out of that. They still have Trundle, too. They can kite very well. Pillar does go down once again. Cloud9 yeah. waited out. Pai has been able to join them. And they want the inhibitor as well as the turret. That's kind of scary. CLG can be punished for what they tried to do. They weren't oh! able to. Oh! See you later, Gator! Both Link and Double Lift going down. Dexter is going to be the next one. The W is not there for use. He's forced the flash to get rid of the crowd control. Meteos and the rest of the team are going crazy right now as they look for more kills. It's going to be Shiv Nian going down on the backside as Dexter is forced to run out of his own house. Cloud9 not looking just for the inhibitor, they're looking for the game. 27 minutes into this one, it started off a complete bloodbath and Cloud9 continued down that road for themselves. 25 to 12, under 30 minutes in the game and 57,000 gold. Cloud9 very happy with the win. Whoa, yeah, action-packed game. Congratulations to Cloud9, well deserved. They were all over the map in this one. So many different little skirmish fights between these two teams in the mid game. And Cloud9 coming out slightly ahead in each little fight, and then finally yep. uh, turning them into objectives like Dragon. It was a single pick that would get turned into an easy Dragon for yep. them. Then they'd wait around, another one kill, turn it into Dragon. It's not very often you see a team, when they win, yeah, they're pretty happy, but they are ecstatic. Their happiness shows that they're even pretty much impressed with themselves that game. They played it very well. They were down kills in the early game and then brought it back to 5-5. Five to five. And then when we looked again, I think it was like 11-6. to six And we were like, wait a minute, what? Cloud9 started to get that fight phase in them. They did what they had to do. Got to give great calls out to the coordination of both CLG and Cloud9 that game. The rotations, the fights were I think some of the longest fights we've had from beginning to end of the game. Each fight was going two to three people on each side. The it was majority just, of the time. It was, it was awesome. mostly just scatterbrained. <laughs> Everybody was running to where the action was. Definitely worth a rewatch. It, yeah, I don't know. It, 
It didn't seem like they planned out a, a lot of the map movements. Uh, <laughs> they were just trying to 